The alternative protein market has seen a major boom since environmentally friendly eating habits have taken center stage. Consumer concerns about physical health, climate change and animal cruelty have transformed the growth of the alternative protein industry. According to UBS, the alternative protein market was 5 billion US dollars in 2018 and is expected to grow exponentially to 85 billion US dollars over the next decade. With Beyond Meat and Impossible being the first companies of their kind to go public and fast food chains like McDonald's, Burger King and KFC all adding permanent alternative protein menu items to their offerings, the industry shows no sign of slowing down and is set for widespread adoption. Here are five alternative protein sectors for investors interested in this space. It's worth noting that already investment in alternative proteins including fermented products and cell-based meat has jumped from 1 billion US dollars in 2019 to 5 billion in 2021, BCG said. Alternatives make up 2% of meat, egg and dairy products sold, but will rise to 11% in 2035 on current growth trends. If you're interested in learning more about cutting edge food trends, check out our trend report. Link is in the bio. All the information you need to stay ahead of the industry. One plant-based meat alternatives to meat. The alternative protein market is often associated with plant-based meat substitutes, which are made from plant products processed to mimic the taste and texture of meat. It has been debated whether plant-based burgers, milk and nut cheeses should be labelled alongside their traditional meat and dairy counterparts, prompting the words cheese and milk to circulate in the market. Categorising these food types like this can put them into a vegan-only market and exclude them from mainstream markets, which is essentially where they need to be to get mass adoption. Marketing meat-free alternatives alongside meat products, whereby they share shelves, aisles and menus, seems to be the way forward. The non-dairy milk market grew by 60% in five years and as of 2019, held a 12.6% market share from dairy products in part because of its strategic shelf placement in supermarkets. According to consumer research, the main shortcomings for many meat replica companies are related to product taste and texture as well as limited product diversity. A study by the Irish food and beverage company, Kerry, revealed that 73% of consumers prefer plant-based alternatives to taste like real meat. It is also noted consumers want variety and with a low range of product offerings dominated 61% by plant-based burger patties, there is a lot of room for innovation in this space. Investors should take heed that consumers like to know the origins and nutritional information of the food they eat, but that not all of them necessarily want to label their diets as vegan. In addition to this, plant-based meat is still primarily consumed by those with an annual income over 120,000 US dollars, whereas those earning below 40,000 are the least likely to consume these products. Two, raw plant protein. This alternative protein category includes raw protein in the form of pea protein powder or raw protein rich foods such as lentils, beans and nuts. This is an important market as these are simple and cost-effective ways to consume the necessary nutrients. With the health and wellness trends still front and center, as customers try to lead their healthier lifestyle, this segment of the alternative protein market is set to grow exponentially. The growth of the market can be attributed to the increasing awareness among consumers regarding the nutritional values of plant-based products such as low sodium and high amino acids. Customer preferences for plant-based protein supplements have been influenced by minimizing the meat consumption following food safety, food allergies and moral reasons. Additionally, the growing desire for environmentally friendly proteins is bolstering the market growth. If raw plant protein can remain cost-effective and give customers access to a healthy source of protein at a reasonable cost, it is set up for massive growth. Three. Bugs and insect protein. A third type of alternative protein is one which is by no means vegan nor animal free. 
Bugs and insects, which are eaten in abundance across the East, are high in protein and relatively easy to farm sustainably compared to traditional meat. The United Nations published a report stating that insect protein could be a key move toward increased global food security. While large corporations such as Nestle and PepsiCo are slowly stepping into the industry by conducting R&D, small, agile, risk-taking startups have been blazing the trail. The Asia-Pacific region has long been the dominant market for edible insects and, while it remains so, insects are also gaining traction in Europe's food and technology scene, particularly in Eastern European and Scandinavian countries. Although the United States has been slower to embrace and invest in entomophagy, startups are popping up across the country and expanding their reach. 4. Cell culture grown meat. Recent innovation has revealed the possibility to grow meat using animal cell culture technology. Substantial investment has been directed into this new wave. Dutch food technology firm Moser Meat received 8.8 .8 million in funding from German drug maker Merrick KGAA and Bell Food Group. Other cultured food companies include Future Meat Technologies and Memphis Meats. In 2019, after years of disputes regarding the legitimacy of these products, the Food and Drug Administration FDA, revealed it would regulate cell cultured products just as it does traditional meat products. This was a huge step forward for the industry which, like any other food industry, relies on consumers' acknowledgement that products have been tested and are regulated, healthy and safe for consumption. Cell-based meat has a way to go with growing products into different cuts of meat such as steaks and chops. On top of this, scaling up the industry to meet the goal of being able to feed the growing global population with clean and slaughter-free meat requires a lot more innovation and research. However, with this new FDA regulation, investments into further research and development of cell-based meat is expected to soar. Investors can be more confident funneling funds into this market, with the government working to improve and regulate products for the wider consumer market. 5. Blended Protein Tyson, one of the United States' largest meat producers, has introduced its first plant-based and blended products into the market. While not targeting the vegan or vegetarian market, these products are expected to experience a high growth in the traditional meat market. The company's hybrid meat products are expected to make headway, with the 75% of consumers who are open to including both meat and plant-based proteins in their diet. More than a fad, there are significant investment opportunities to be found and although the alternative protein market might have started as a trend, there is no doubt it has developed into much more than a short-term fad. If you are interested in learning more about cutting-edge food trends, check out our trends report. Link is in the bio. All the information you need to stay ahead of the industry.